Hello, what's up my friends, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode here on the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory with yet another different background. Uh, today, I'm still upon my travels. I've moved from my uh, my vacation though. I'm not in, not in Florida anymore. Uh, I took the flight from Florida to, I'm currently in Vancouver in Canada. So uh, here we are in my hotel and I am filming another episode for you here today. If you enjoy it, please do me a tiny little favor, hit that thumbs up. Rather than having the mic just sort of sat on the table, I quite like this whole sort of just like holding it. Um, and I think the audio quality has still been very good, so uh, I'm, I'm pleased with that. So, uh, yeah, let's get stuck in. Now, today, again, it's just another, like, catch-up. It's another bunch of packs, rewards, and so on and so forth, because online games at the moment are just not something I can play. Hotel Wi-Fi is not the one. Um, and even if I had an Ethernet cable with me, which I don't, I, that's one thing I didn't bring with me, um, because I guess when I'm at home, my Ethernet cables are all, like, like hardwired into the house so it's yeah it's not something i have spares of if you know what i mean um so i can't play online uh won't be playing online it's too much stress as well right i'm, I'm away um so yeah more packs more more of all of that sort of stuff now i start the episode off by getting some squad battles rewards and that is going to give me this bernardo silver uh who well, my friends, is actually a really good card, whether or not we ever use him, because we've got so many good cards in that department. Uh, I do not, I don't know, um, but you're going to see all of the packs from Squad Battles Rewards. I think they're only like silver rewards, but they're from what I was able to get done last week whilst I was just trying to gain XP and stuff. Um, as, as I'm recording this, there's like two days, seven hours or something like that until until the next refresh, um, uh, which is going to be, of course, a new season uh, of, of objectives and stuff. So there's no way I'm going to get the season passed on. I'm going to have to not... I'm going to have to say goodbye to the thought of getting um, Tony Kroos or Gerard and Puskas, uh, which is such an L, really, because I thought I would have... I thought I got as much XP as I possibly could have done up until I went away on holiday, and then we've been playing squad battles and stuff but what i'm missing out on of course by the way red player pick oh this week it's vertongen uh last week we got a 93 hagerberg this week a 91 vertongen there will be a week where i get mbappe from from silver two squad battles rewards and i can't wait for it all right um but yeah i'm like five six thousand yeah like six thousand xp away something like that i unless unless they give us some like very last minute offline easy to grind multiple thousands of xp available which i just don't think is coming because normally that sort of stuff is already out for like the final week um then i'm not going to be able to attain it which definitely sucks um but i know there's a lot of you out there uh I, a lot of a lot of my close mates actually that have been putting stuff in discords uh about how far they're getting along to it and like there's hardly anyone is actually getting up to the end of the season just because focusing on like doing random squad battles objectives is not what some people want to do at this stage of the game uh, and getting xp is just a bit of a it's a bit mare isn't it no no one really wants to grind for it but if you really wanted that Puskas, that Gerard, that Tony Kroos, then you would have had to go for it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, here's hoping. Fingers crossed that we get some sort of random Hail Mary objectives that just gives out like five or 6,000 XP. Thank you, EA. Cheers. Hopefully that will happen. Um, but we are getting random packs. I played six games of squad battles with a argentine squad i could have played with either an argentine a brazilian or a uruguayan is that right those were the three teams for the copper america um objective that i had left to do got six games done that got me 400 xp it pushed me up to getting close to another level um which will be an 83 times 20 i think we are going to get that in today's episode uh we might have already do we already have it? We may have we may have unlocked the 83 times 20. Uh, and I also got an 87 double from completing that overall reward. So wanted to get that one done. Uh, and then there's the small matter of, I think, like five games of squad battles that I need to play with some French players in my team. And that, my friends, will get me... Uh, is it Fafana? I can't remember the name of the player. 
Uh, for some reason, I've got Fafana in my head. Hopefully, that's right. Uh, the French centre mid club 90 car that they're giving out for five games of squad battles, which is, uh, yeah, just a little bit nutty. But it shows you that we're in the summer season, right? So that is what it is. So here's an 87 double then. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see a promo player. But what we do, say, uh, do see is the daily Luka Modric, which... The keen-eyed amongst you will have seen that we packed them like four or five packs ago. Uh, so it's not the first Daily Luca, it's the second Daily Luca and the untradeable duplicate Daily Luca Modric. Um, Bruno as well, Fernandez. It's not great for an 87 double, is it? 187, 188. I mean, it is quite literally July. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping at this point to start getting specials in every single pack. That would be ideal. Will that happen? Will it continue to, to not be the case? Yeah, most likely. Um, until we get to like super silly season, which is mid to late August, when we get like daily 85 times 10s and unlimited ability to do all of that. And that's when you can just get all the Icon SBCs done, um, which is always actually quite fun. That's when I like to start making new accounts and then just get like a crazy squad within one hour. Um, and I'm actually thinking about doing some more of those, like that sort of thing as like a series. I know that's quite popular amongst some of the the FC YouTubers um, and streamers like going on and starting a brand new account and seeing how far you can get within a certain time limit. Quite like the idea of maybe doing that. Maybe that could be something fun we do on stream a few times um, when I'm back uh, in the next few days. That would be uh, actually a good laugh, I reckon, see how far we can get. And it may be just by doing SBCs or, I don't know, an hour a day on an RTG, on a brand new RTG do that for like a week and then see what you get after that seven hours of just putting one hour a day in. I quite like the thought of it. Um, so there's potential for some slightly fresher content uh, as well as the the RTG that we love to love to do um, as often as possible. Normally every single day, but uh, I have been sort of out of the country for two to getting on for three weeks now, which um, I am a little bit homesick, not going to lie. I want to get back to my office, to all of the pretty lights and... Uh, nice little setup that I've got back there and uh, I want to get streaming again for you guys and creating content in my normal habitat all right I go away for a couple of weeks it's lovely uh, and then you get homesick you just do um, so yeah get me get me home ASAP not that I'm complaining about where I am right now because uh, Vancouver itself is a beautiful beautiful place um, so 86 doubles weren't even kind to me today uh, Parejo and Kante, literally the, the base level of what I could attain at 286s is not ideal. It's not what you want to see. Uh, I don't want to be seeing gold flares at this point. I want to be seeing the, the Copper America, the, the Euro 2024 flares. Uh, but here we go. Uh, it is Fofana from uh, Monaco, I believe. Uh, French centre mid. Monaco, 94 rated with four play styles, I believe. I mean, that is wild for a free card, isn't it? Just take a look at that. 93 pace, 92 shooting, 93 passing, 91 dribbling, 92 defend, 94 physical. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a card. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the look of it. Uh, so whether or not we end up using him, I don't know. They are all stats that are in the low 90s. And I've got some players like my Ben Tanker at this point is looking good. Now... Uh, so I'm filming this for you guys Monday evening, it's like, like during the night for you guys into Tuesday. Hopefully I'll have the video up for you for Tuesday, Wednesday, wh whenever I can get it sorted by. Um, obviously we've got the Euro semis coming up, we'll have the, yeah, it's the semis as well for Copper America. So whenever those are, we'll start seeing some more upgrades hopefully within the club. Um, England, Netherlands and uh, France, Spain. And then it's Argentina versus Canada, isn't it? And then um, Uruguay versus Colombia, I believe. Those are the those are the eight teams left across those two tourneys. So uh, if we've got any cards from those, you know, personally, Uruguay or Argentina can go all the way because I've got some cool cards for both. Um, you know, have a nice Argentina Uruguay final, and then I don't mind who wins. Uh, that would be ideal for me. Uh, and then. Um, England, because i got a, a few decent English, especially Joe Gomez, of course, right? Uh, and then Cruyff has already maxed out, so I don't need any more on Cruyff. England need to beat the Dutchies anyway, that beat Netherlands, please. Just, just you know, come on, England. Uh, and then Spain and France, well, 
I don't really have any good Spanish uh, upgradable cards. I've got Lin Normand, but that's not really, you know, I've got like Barcola so, uh, and Fofana now. So hopefully England-France final, England to win it. And uh, I mean, the, but England and France have both got to the semi-finals playing some pretty terrible stuff really, haven't they? So uh, we can thank our lucky stars that we've just about been able to get it done. Here's hoping that formation changes and playing proper fluid football starts to starts to occur because we're all getting bored of seeing it go nil nil to penalties and then watch a, a, an easy penalty shootout. That's not ideal, is it? That's not what you want to see. Um, so I am opening right here some of the eighty times three packs, the Euro Nation ones, I believe, or Top Nations, whatever they are. Best of Nations, I think it just said. <coughs> Excuse me, and. From them, I have been quite disappointed. Uh, I heard that these were sort of like a way to go. And then with the the duplicate rares that you get from this, or like the low-rated rares that you get from this, you can put that and some non-rares into your player picks. Uh, but because we've got the 82-plus player pick back this week, I'm a bit of a fan of that one. Uh, I quite like those. So I think that's what I'll stick with. Those, these have just not been... I've not seen special cards. I barely seen walkouts. I don't think I've seen any. Have I seen any walkouts? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they've not been. They've not been what I want to see. So I think player picks are the way to go. In my opinion, let me know what your success rate has been from those packs, from player picks. Here's ten player picks to go alongside the ten eighty times three. See which ones you think are better. Here, are we going to get anything? Um, start with an eighty five. If we can just get like a, a walk out here. Ah, there we can. Uh, Lauren Hemp. Uh, so instantly, it's better than the 80 times threes. Of course, the difference being you get three players back each pack in the other one and only one player per player pick, of course. Um, and it does cost you double the rares to do player picks, but less non-rares. So it swings and roundabouts of what you guys think is worth it, uh, not worth it. Um... I'm going to pick whatever's highest rated along these player picks here. I don't mind if it's a duplicate because there is an SBC that I wanted to complete before it expires, which is, of course, the Jack Grealish uh, SBC, um, a player that wasn't ended up being picked for the Euros, but has a showdown card based on uh, some FC Pro stuff. And I believe Tex is um, the guy that could hopefully get us a, a nice plus two on Jack Grealish. So that would be kind of cool. It'd be nice to see a 95 rated uh, Jackie boy, uh, the man with the calves and the hairdo. Uh, but let's complete him right now. So we get that. Uh, I believe he's got three play style pluses. One of them's got to be finesse. One will be press proven. And the other one I think might be trickster. Um, like I said, I got a small monitor that I'm watching it on here rather than my normal big, big monitors at home. So it's, yeah, it's Finesse, Press Proven, and Trickster Plus. Uh, if he goes upgraded, he'll get 96 pace, 92 shooting, 95 uh, passing, 98 dribbling. That'd be a good card. Definitely not a world beater, not, not as good as some of the cards on this game, but it's an SBC that I wanted to do. Now, my friends, we've come to the end of the episode here today. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, do me a small favor, hit that thumbs up button. Um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, like, uh, like I've said multiple times, I'll be back on the weekend, back in England. Um, so look forward to more regularly scheduled content there. Uh, I might be able to get another video done during the week, actually. So I'll either see you in the next couple of days or I'll see you when I'm back in England at the weekend. Take it easy, my friends, and I'll catch you then. Peace.